Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to tie one of my Euro nymph patterns. I call this one the red wine. As you can see, the tungsten bead sort of a ready wine colour. Um, it's a good trout and grilling pattern, this one. Got plenty of fish on them. So let's start. So, hook. Is a size 16 full of mill jig force. The bead is a three millimeter tungsten bead in it says color wine. So I'm using black thread. I'll start off behind the bead, tie it in, work my way back to the bend, so, trim off the excess. So the tail, I'm a big fan of Cop de Leon and most of my nymph patterns I, I do use Cop de Leon and such a nice, it's a nice material to work with. So I don't want it too thick the tail, I'll take maybe five or six, five or six from it and uh, I do like a short tail on my nymphs. So, I'll tie that in, come way back, that's the one, trim off the excess fibres. Now the rib, it's a hen's rib and it's, I'm not sure the colour, I'll put it in the description when I find it. It's in like a ready wine colour, similar to the bead. So I'll work my way up to the bead and place my wire in the slot, tie it in nice and tight, work my way back down to the tail. Right, now the body. So I'm using hairline dubbing in black. Any black double will do, you don't have to, it's not set in stone. Whatever black double you've got. You don't want it too thick for the body, just nice and thin. Tie it in, work your way up three quarters of the hook shank. Now the rib, you want about four turns. And these five come in, tie that off, spin your wire, that's it. Now, I should have been more prepared here. I've got the partridge feather off, I've got a partridge feather here, and I'm just going to pull all the fluffy stuff off. It does have a name, but it just doesn't come to my head up to now. So, once I pull the fluffy stuff off, now it's up to you how hev heavily hackled you want to do it. I don't like it too heavy. So, I'll pull half of one side off. So, it's like one, one and a half sides of the partridge feather. Come in. Tie that in at the tip of the feather. Pull off the tip. Now if your hackle pliers come in, if I can get. There we go. Come in and just hackle round. It's not going the way I want it. Spin that. That's better. You want the Curved bit facing backwards. Right, come in. Tie in the stem of the feather. Couple of turns, that should do it. Take the pliers off, trim off the excess stem. 
couple more turns just to make sure it's in place nicely. Right, now for the thorax. Again, any dubbing, as long as it's black and it's got a bit of flashing, you don't want too much of this. I'm using the hairline, um, sorry, the trout line micro flash dubbing in black. Let's see. And I just want a small pinch of this, you don't need too much around here. Dub it on your thread. Push it up. Make sure you don't drop any partridge feather. Bring it back up to the bead. Now tie off with a four or five turn with finish. Tighten down. thread and there you have it red wine thanks for watching give this one a go